Hello and welcome to my video. I want to review my Runelai settings, all the plugins. Now loading the normal. This is how it looks. And one by one, from my favorite to the most, from the most useful to me at least as multilogger. Party plugin. If it doesn't show up, you need to look for it on the plugin hook. It's an extra one. You just look for the plugin name that I'm going to show or search for any keywords. Verti plugin. This is important because it enables to make sounds. Oops, it's broken. It's broken. In the party plugin you can join in this sidebar, join previous party or join a party, share the page phrase. You have this functionality that is very useful. It communicates with and in together. You can show stats. It's better not to, only when gains. And for the HP, party health status, these are the settings, defense tracker for Dragon Warhammer Sun Corp, for example. World Cycle Plugin, this one enables you to hop from an association of words you insert there. Client anti drag, this avoids moving the client by mistake when multi logging. Fixed mode chat, this is the normal default, and this is more screen, it's better. You can pop it out. Around items and group item sounds, these are the configs, what it does, it's the following. Very useful for PBMing. Here you have the item list, items to highlight, items to ignore. To highlight I recommend highlighting food or bone, bone drops in Cold Wars, etc. Oops. Here are the settings I have. Feel free to pause it. Item sounds for high values only. It's very useful. Boss in info. This one. Here are the settings, and here is what it does. Here you can see the kills per hour on that account, on any boss. Very useful for boosting weapon hunting to measure your speed. When I forgot the image counter, DP, this one, DPS counter. This one is very useful for boosting pets with your own accounts or with the other players because it avoids kill stealing because it shows a, tab a table with the damage per account on the boss every kill. Bang. 
tank tax this one is excellent this is what it does you can set bank categories on the side that are very useful per activity and similar to this one you have inventory setups that is superior in my opinion these are the settings and on the sidebar this one enables you to set for example a sli slider I can browse uh, I can save the inventory I go to do a task and then when I open the bank it literally it saws it up all the items I need and if I'm missing one the order of the inventory and if I have a different task for example it changes and it's on the of the bank it's right there it's great for code wars multi login for example to bank a tank really quickly to head up Now with other ones, loot tracker. This sounds you loot. Very simple. Gives full. Interact heal lights. This one is like a escape tree. These are the settings I have. When you mouse over a a clickable object, it highlights, and when you click it, it changes. It's very useful. Too. And when you come up with anything, it also does the same. Let's see. You see, it's, it, it stays colored purple. When you're in combat, it's purple. Now, let's review this other one xp login customizable xp uh, this one customizable xp drops these are my settings feel free to pause and this is what it does it shows the damage it predicts the hit like two seconds before it it lands. It's incredible. And fat XP drops. Very nice. This is great. You can customize it as you want. On the side, on top of the enemies. You can keep the XP on the sidebar. And only the, 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 the damage to show up. For multi-logging, this is incredibly useful because you see you actually see the hit. It's very obvious. And other plugins. Status bars. This is the columns. These are the settings. Left bar hit points. Right bar prayer. And to show the prayer like this. Like HP. When you're, in when you're in combat or using it, see? another bar. This is it. You said so prior bar and it shows. And searching for UI. Interface, st interface styles High detail headbar This looks like RuneScape 2 Back in 2010 I think it's better The bar is bigger So you can 
have a better estimate of the, your HP or prior level. And you can highlight NPCs. Tag. Tagging shows the respawn timers and like a shadow box below. It helps. And another one is multicolor heal light. This is great because you can tag differently and different NPCs, for example the range minion in bandos green and the red minion red so you can tell apart instantly or baboons in terms of a mascot for example ward ward and that's it that's it very simple And another thing that's pretty useful is if you are pe a, a, a pet hunter, you can heal light your the pet you're looking for. And when you get the drop, it's heal it's, heal, it's very very highlighted. For example, see? If you were to get the drop, you will see it. Indicator configuration transparency because otherwise it's horrible. The other NPC, there's another one entity hider that combines with this entity hider at the bottom. High dead NPCs. When it dies, you can click it. Otherwise, you can do misclicks on dead NPCs. And that's horrible. See? It's invisible. That helps on the inferno, PBMing, boosting, anything. Highlights settings pretty simple. Object markers, for example, mark this door, highlights it, as if to click. If you use something very quickly, it's very useful, makes things simple. Tile indicators. You can import, you can export or import tiles from other people. Here, import with markers. Also very useful. Improved tile indicators is very useful too. It shows the tile of the destined tile you can show your character tile this gray it also doesn't show over the character which looks nice when you click it it highlights and you can set for bosses to also look nicer like this with this character above For code wars, there's a plugin that's better code wars overlay. It shows simply it makes the box smaller, very recommended.
cordero de menú es examine, no examine. So you have less options. Comes handy. Report button. Report button. It changes it. It still works, but it shows your tick tick count. So, for example, when you're hopping worlds, it starts counting, and you can see the ticks you spend for every boss kill when you're hopping. It's very useful to have an idea how soon you're hopping, if you're improving your times, etc. And a very useful to have, for example, use on bones for using on the altar. You can use this plugin. Menu entry swapper. Item swaps. And you can do it by shift clicking, swap, left click, drop, use. For example, another, another very useful plugin I use is for potions. To keep using the same one you have already used. I use inventory tags to put your stone potions. Inventory tags, you can click the item, tag, and color. That way, if you only color the potions you will have drink it, you don't misclick. You don't have all potions half used. 